You can add new users to your QuickBooks Online to help with your bookkeeping, including your accountant. You can give users specific permissions so they can only do certain tasks or add new admins who can do pretty much everything. Let's go over where to invite your accountant, what the primary admin is, and how to change it. Then we'll show you how to set up a new user and the different user roles and permissions you have to choose from. To start, select Settings and Manage Users. You'll see all your users and your accountants here. To give your accountant access to your QuickBooks, just add their email address and select Invite. The email and password you used to set up QuickBooks automatically becomes the primary admin. The primary admin can access all areas of QuickBooks and set up other users, including additional admins that also have complete access to QuickBooks. The primary admin can also change who the primary admin is by finding another admin and selecting Change Primary Admin. The new primary admin must be an admin already, so you must set them up as an admin or you can change their permissions here. Now let's set up a new user. Select Add User. Note that the Simple Start plan does not include additional users, so you'll need to upgrade to another plan if you want to add users. Enter the user's name along with the email ID of the user to be added. Then select the role that you want them to have. There are several roles to choose from. Company admins can do pretty much anything in your company, so be careful about who you set up as an admin. Note that you'll see extra roles if you have QuickBooks Advanced. To see a role's permissions, select it and you'll see a description and exactly which areas of QuickBooks your user will have access to and what they will be able to do. For some sections, you'll see checkboxes that will allow you to add or take away some permissions for that user. You can select different roles and review their permissions until you find the one you want. Select the link View Role Descriptions for a description of every role and what they can do, so you can compare. Note that each QuickBooks plan comes with a user limit. These users count towards your user limit, and these users don't. Once you settle on a role, select Send Invitation. QuickBooks sends your new user an email inviting them to sign in and work in your QuickBooks with the permissions you assigned them. If your user can't find the email, select Resend Invite. You can also edit your user's permissions here or delete them if you need to. Now you can set up new users to help you share your work in QuickBooks.